what's up everyone welcome back to the channel it's your girl jay simmons and we are back with another tour video on today's video we are going to be touring my american diner i built one of these um in my earlier videos um but this one is much more realistic it's much smaller and i just feel like it gives off the right type of vibe so um i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like we're gonna start from the outside of course um but i i think i'm really really proud of how this turned out so uh yeah let's let's start the tour so firstly i wanted to add some vehicles um to the front of the building just to showcase that okay these are customers and usually you would have a car park and um you know you'd have customers parking and and such so originally i wanted to go with the original the vintage vehicles but because they were so long in length i just i was not able to add them they weren't able to fit and that's completely fine um i did go ahead and add on these vehicles which i found to be really cool and they did still suit that 90s 80s vibe that i was going for so Overall, I was still happy with the end result of the cars. So that's a car park, as you would put it. And then over here, we have like the entrance area. So I really tried to be on track with the American Diner um, colors, which is usually the, the red, the white, and the blue colors. Um, and so I used this, the, the exterior wall. I can't remember what it's called. Um, but it's one of the older wallpapers that we have in the game and I thought it, it suit really really well for the diners so I went ahead and used that. I also added some chairs and tables outside again trying to keep with the American theme so we have the red and blue chairs and they are mixed and match. Um, of course your sims can come out here and they can eat. Um, so I really enjoy the fact that they have like both inside and outside dining. Over here, um, to the side of the building, we also have uh, this cute section. So there's two sides, as you guys can see. Um, over here, you can access the back or the side of the building um, from this section over here. But this section as well is a bit more intimate. It's not directly facing the road. And so you find that the customers that come out here are ones that usually want a bit more privacy um, while they eat. So I found that to be pretty cool. So we do have like a wrap around um, deck or what would you call that? Porch, um, patio area um, thing going on. So yeah, so I was really, really happy with that. So we have these um, two entrances. And now let me take you guys um, inside and this is where the fun begins so inside we're gonna enter and here we are met with my cute little setup let me put my sim to order a milkshake so you guys can um, you know get some demonstrations just so you know that this actually does work um, you can probably just sit. Okay, so firstly, you are met with this gorgeous area um, where we have all the diner essentials. We have the milkshake machine, the coffee machine, um, some things that look to be like old records to me because um, we don't actually have retro designs in the game. So I had to kind of improvise where designs and um, decorations were concerned um but overall i found that these worked really well so let me just show you guys so real quick so as you guys can see they uh they can order milkshakes and they can um just sit there and chill and i found that to be so cool so yeah so everything works as is um so back to describing the decoration so over here now we have a menu board um, again, which I found to be pretty practical and I think we got this in our last cafe update So that came in really really handy 
over here we have a fridge where we have um, various different drinks and all that stuff that you would expect to have in a diner um, but you know we basically have all the stuff that we would need and then back here um, back here is not I originally I wanted a kitchen in the back of there but because we were cramped for space I didn't bother but I did um, have my my sims be able to walk through here so let me show you guys what I did in the back here so I actually created um, an invisible door and that is how my sim was actually able to enter this area so in reality um, if you guys don't put a door in the back there she obviously would not have been able to enter so um, that came in really handy so and that was pretty cool um uh, okay so we have this section here which i'm really proud of and uh, over here we have a seating area um it's pretty cool i would say it's very um casual and of course i went with these big big windows because again i've seen a lot of designs where um these american diners they have a lot of big big um picture windows so I found that that was a really cool feature to put an add-on into it because I, I really struggled with the types of windows that I wanted to add into the diner but I found that these worked really well um, overall. So we have a seating area and then over here we have the chairs which you guys can see are very functional. Um, two of your sims can come here and they can eat they can also have a cup of tea so that is pretty cool as well um american diners usually have breakfast items so yeah so we have some seating area over there as well over in this section we have a little bit more of a seating area but then we also have i would say like a vip section not necessarily vip i feel like this section would be more for uh, maybe like a group of persons who come and they come to chill and here has the jukebox as well so um this is also a nice feature because they can come and they can dance and do all that stuff although i don't really think american diners have dancing but technically you do have the feature here so uh that's pretty cool so yeah, so um, this section here is where you have the jukebox and uh, I really did try my best to mimic the colors of an American Diner. Originally, I had my walls painted in the ketchup and mustard colors, but it was a bit much um, given the fact that the chairs are also black and red. It was just a bit much, so I decided to change it to this pastel pink, which I also know would be a color that you would see in those diners as well so i found it to be really um well suited for the environment so over here we have um another seating area again this is just a normal bar stool um type of scene and again some decorations on the wall we have a record player over here and this record player, as you guys can see, has some records underneath it. And that's one of the reasons why I chose to put that there because I found it to be so cool. Um, and I have this 80s poster as well. So anyone who comes in here, they can actually come and enjoy um, some music. So again, um, just trying to make it be a bit more realistic because recently I actually visited um, an American diner where I live and they actually have a lot of knickknacks and a lot of different things like showcased. So I wish that I had more room to do that, but it's fine. I originally wanted this diner to be very small and cute. So I think that was really accomplished. So now, let me just show you guys the cute little restroom area. And over here, so we have a boys and girls um, bathroom, of course. And we have the mirror, and we have a blow dryer, not a blow dryer, hand dryer. <laughs> and then inside here, we have, I think this is the, yeah, this is the girls washroom. So we have the girls. 
and then we also have the males i can't remember where i got these um toilets from but i know i took it from some house that i, I saw on the gallery but yeah so um that is pretty much my diner i am very very proud of the way that it turned out i think that um it's definitely a place that i would bring my sims i think just because i love the american vibe diner vibe um it's definitely a restaurant that i would like to visit so um yeah so this is uh, i would say um the end of the tour i do hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you think um in the comments down below and for those of you who actually live in america and see this video let me know um what you thought of my my version of an american diner so that's it for this video guys i am gonna be leaving the floor plans as per usual and the screenshots at the end of the video so do enjoy and i will see you guys in the next video bye